provisional cast on. A provisional cast on is one that is temporary. It is worked in such a way that the cast on stitches can then be removed and in turn becoming live stitches at the other end of your knitted fabric. It is recommended that it is done using scrap yarn, not unlike what I have in the short featuring bobbins, and in a contrasting color so that it is easily differentiated from your main yarn and thus easily removed. Throughout the instructions, we will be referring to scrap yarn and primary yarn, or main yarn. Scrap yarn is a length of yarn which will be removed and will not be incorporated into your work. The main yarn is what will constitute your project. With one technique, the yarns will need to be knotted together prior to casting on with a slip knot. When correctly positioned, it can be easily undone, allowing you to retrieve and reuse the strand of scrap yarn for later use. A couple of techniques will require you to have a crochet hook readily available. Also with regards to the creation of live stitches at the other end of your work, it is advisable to keep handy a double point or circular needle with the creation of another variety of cast on. We will discuss in a future video. Provisional cast on, single line. Tie the scrap and main yarns together at the beginning with a slip knot. Be informed this will not be a stitch. When doing so, ensure that the tails create the loop you are going to be placing onto the needle. This will enable you to easily undo the slip knot and remove the yarn. While holding down the knot with your thumb and or index finger of the hand holding onto the needle, Hold the yarn such that the scrap yarn is closest to you, going over your thumb, and your primary yarn travels over your index finger. So you will simply bring the main yarn over the needle, not unlike the yarn over increase. Bring your needle under the scrap yarn, catching the main yarn, and drawing up a loop of the main yarn with it. And repeat these two steps. If you prefer, you can reverse these directions and start with catching a loop of yarn instead of a yarn over, should you wish. Make sure the direction in which you are wrapping the main yarn over your needle remains the same. Depending on how your last stitch was formed, it may need to be immediately followed by twisting the two yarns together slightly before knitting your first stitch. If your last stitch was a yarn over, that will be the case, otherwise your last stitch will come undone. If your last stitch was created by bringing a loop underneath the scrap yarn, no such step will be necessary. Once you cast on your stitches, begin knitting your project's first row of stitches as intended using your main yarn until you reach the slip knot we created at the beginning. You will simply just slide this slip knot off and proceed knitting until you achieve a length you want. At this point, you will either use point protectors to keep your work from sliding off the first needle or bind off the stitches depending on what your project is. After you have finished as desired with the top side, you will rotate your project and begin slipping the live stitches onto your needle. If you use the slip knot, undo it and start sliding the scrap yarn out of your stitches. One neat feature of this cast on method is that you could just pull out the scrap yarn just like a drawstring. These stitches, once the scrap yarn is removed, will become live stitches, meaning they can be dropped or come undone. Continue knitting your work as intended in the new direction as planned. Provisional crochet cast on, number one. This one is easily removed by simply pulling on the scrap yarn, essentially unraveling the crocheted stitches. Do this slowly so as to minimize dropped stitches or unraveling. 
You will need a crochet hook alongside your knitting needles to perform this method. Place your slip knot onto the crochet hook. Mind you, this will not count as a stitch. Bring your yarn going behind the needle, holding your crochet hook in the front. As it comes over the top of your needle and back to the front, grab a loop of yarn as your crochet hook comes over the needle. Be sure to wrap your yarn in the same direction around your knitting needle. You will repeat this process of wrapping your yarn around the knitting needle and then catching another loop with your crochet hook. When you're done, slip the loop off of the crochet hook and either cut the scrap yarn and pull it through, making a knot, or use a stitch marker and slip it where the crochet hook once was so we can retrieve and reuse the scrap yarn. Knit your project as planned. When you are ready, rotate your work as we prepare to unravel the provisional cast on. Be mindful of the fact that your fibers can get intertangled with each other. Take special care to take them apart without undoing your work in ways you did not plan to. Unravel the chain slowly a few stitches at a time, and slip your stitches onto another knitting needle to continue your work in the other direction. Provisional crochet cast on number two. This variation will be performed by crocheting a foundation chain separate from the needle. You will need to make one additional chain than the number of stitches you need for your project. That is because you will be utilizing these little central loops of yarn on the back side of the chain which rest in between individual chain links you have crocheted. These loops will be formed on the back side of the chain. When you're finished, if you want to retrieve and save your yarn for future use, you will take a stitch marker and place it within the end loop of the foundation chain that was originally on the crochet hook. Rotate the chain around and start picking up stitches in these central ridges on the back side of your chain. Warning, if you do not use these back ridges, you will end up having to cut your chain into tiny pieces, and we will not be able to retrieve the scrap yarn. Insert your needle into one of these ridges, bring the yarn over your needle, and pull up a loop through the ridge. Repeat these same steps until you get to the end of your chain. Provisional crochet cast on number three. This provisional cast on can be done with or without a crochet hook. Unfortunately, however, this provisional cast on method will not enable you to retrieve the yarn as it will get cut into several small pieces. You will insert your needle into the sides of the chains and then draw up a loop as before and repeat this all the way to the end of your chain. Continue knitting your fabric. When you've reached your desired length, turn your work around. 
and start cutting the provisional stitches. And finally, remove the scrap yarn bits and insert your knitting needle into the live stitches. After you slide your stitches onto the new needle, you can knit in the opposite direction from the other end of your fabric. Or, you can check out this next video, showing you how to turn that tiny swatch of fabric into a neat little tubular cast-on. Thanks again. Subscribe and stay tuned, and don't forget to check what we have posted in the community tab of our channel, please.